the church this morning. And it was so in my heart. I thank God for the spirit of oneness. Thank you, Jesus. It's so in my heart to just for us to acknowledge, hallelujah, those that have lost loved ones on 2020 and the beginning of this year. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God that here at Restoration, we want everybody to know, hallelujah, that we stand with you in prayer. Hallelujah. That we are praying for you and we are praying, God, that God will continue to strengthen you in this troubled time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The word of God in Romans 12 and 15 says to rejoice with them that rejoice and to weep with them that weep. Hallelujah. And we want to pray with those. People's hearts are hurting all over the nation. As Ella Kenny mentioned, it's a whole lot of craziness going on. But don't y'all know that our God is yet reign? Our God is still strong. Hallelujah. Our God is almighty. And as saints of God, hallelujah, we refuse to give the enemy the glory. Hallelujah. God is good and great. And he's still. Somebody say he's still. He's still. Uh -uh. Say he's still, he's still worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Father, I want you to have your way in me today. God, I stand here as a vessel that belongs to you. Lord, I give myself to you. I pray that you will have your way today, God. I pray that you will give me strength, Lord, to say whatever you tell me to say and to do whatever you tell me to do. For God, these are your people, Lord. And you know what they have need of, God. Hallelujah, Lord. You know what everyone in here have need of from you, God. You know every broken heart, Lord. You know every heart, God, that needs to be mended, God. You know what we need, Lord. You know what we have need of. So I pray that you will have your way today, God. And I come to give you glory. And I come to move Sheila out of the way, God. I stand here not to be looked upon, hallelujah, Lord. But I stand here as a vessel from God, Lord. To pour out, God, what you have given me for your people. And I thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. The subject for today is eternity in my view. How many of y'all know in the day and time in which we live, we have to stay focused? Amen? We have to stay focused and we have to keep our eyes on the Lord. We have to keep eternity in, in, in our view, knowing that Jesus is coming back just like he said he would. As I was sitting there, I heard the Lord say Psalms 91 and 11. Thank you, Jesus. And I have some stuff wrote down here, and I've been getting stuff together and all of that. But, you know, the main thing is that the Lord will have his way. Yes. Psalms 91 and 11 says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all of thy ways. Yes. And I come by way of encouragement this morning to let you know that God will keep you in all of your ways. That there is no trouble that he cannot heal. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to flow this morning as the Lord lead me because I have some stuff wrote down. But I'm, I'm, I, I feel that there, God has a word for someone that is here in the house today. Thank you, Jesus. And 1 Peter 4 and 7 and 11, it says that the end of all things is near. And this is the NIV, ver NIV version. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-controlled so that you can pray. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. Faithfully administering God's grace in various forms, if anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serve, he should do it with the strength of God, the strength that God provides, so that all things, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be glory and power forever. Having a proper view of eternity will help us to navigate through these troubled times. Peter said in his text, he was encouraging the saints to be prepared to be prepared to focus. He let them know that the end times were coming. And if we look around, we can see that we are truly living in the last days. Yeah. But God said we are not to live as those that have no hope. 
for our hope is in him. We can, have, we can live without doubt knowing that his word is true and that God is a promise keeper and that he keeps his word. We have to be willing to suffer because if we suffer with him, we will reign with him. Christ always lived with the thought of end in mind. Jesus often warned his disciples and he told them. He told them that pay attention to what I'm saying because I'm going to tell you some things that is going to happen before they happen. And I want you to remember this so that when it happened, you can remember that I told you this. The Lord told us that, that he is coming back again. He let us know that he went to prepare a place for us and where he is, that we will be there also. How many of y'all know that's something to look forward to? Isn't it good to know that, we, that, that this earth is not our home? Don't you feel good about knowing that you have some place to look forward to? The word of God lets us know that in this place that there will be no more crying. There will be no more weeping. There will be no more sorrow. There will be no more racism. There will be no more craziness going on. There will be no respect of person. But in this place, hallelujah, there will be glory. The glory of God will reign. And we will praise him forevermore. So let's give the Lord a hand praise for the place of eternity. I have eternity in my view. The Bible tells us to let not our hearts be troubled. To trust in God, trust also in Jesus. For in his father's house, for in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and do what? Receive you unto myself. Now listen, there are troubled times and sometimes in this world trouble will come. It would be foolish to say that I'm a child of God and I've never had trouble because Jesus suffered and he had many troubles along the way. But it's the view that he had on the Father that kept him moving forward. Amen? Amen. So we have to do just as Jesus, our, our great pattern that came before us to let us know that whatever Jesus said, whatever my Father say is what I say. Whatever my Father tell me to do, I can do. Wherever my Father tell me to go, I can go because I'm looking at my Father. So no matter how deep the valley, no matter what come my way, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So we have heaven in our view. We don't look at all this foolishness that's going on and consider this to be our home. Now, because the word of God tells us to love one another, he tells us to weep with those that weep and to mourn with those that mourn. So when my sisters and brothers are going through, they're not going through alone because we are praying for you. We pray ye one for another. I'm going to come alongside my sister and I'm going to come alongside my brother and I'm going to let you know that we're going to get through this together. Well, you may be weak right now, but where you're weak, I'm strong enough to carry you. So that if I should get weak along the way, you should be strong enough to carry me. But if we work together, if we pray together, we sing together, we walk together, if we love together, if we live together according to the word of God, everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Sure, there are troubled times in the world, but troubled times can't get in us. The word of God tells us to guard our heart. Hallelujah. And sometimes we have to guard our heart against the negativity on the news. We have to guard our heart against the negativity. Sometimes I guard friends' conversation because it's not hard to find bad news. Bad news is all around you. But if you want to set yourself and if you want to settle yourself and you want to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, then you're going to have to do something that you haven't done before. Sometimes you got to just, you know, it's good to know what's going on, but sometimes you have to, you have to just give yourself a fast from the, the, that stuff. Yes. Sometimes you got to give yourself a break from it. You, you're going to catch up with it because you're going to hear it along the way because everybody's talking about yes. what's going on. But we have to allow our conversation to be the word of God because the word of God stands sure the word of God shall not pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God is going to stand. So we want to encourage ourselves in the world of, in the word of God. And we want to know, just as the Lord has said today, that, that for, we sh for, he shall give his, for he shall give his angels charge over us to do what? To keep us in all of our ways. So when you're going through things and when you're, you're, you're feeling the burden, because there, there are people that are heavy today. And I sense this even in preparing this message, Lord, the burden of the people. But I come to let you know that you are not alone. And I come to let you know that the prayer of the righteous availeth much. Hallelujah. And when two or three were gathered together in his name, the power of God will be in the midst. I heard the choir saying, hallelujah, hallelujah. And something about hallelujah, that's the highest praise. See, we, we are 
so common with phrases and we're so common with scriptures till we just say hallelujah is the highest praise. But do you realize what happens when you say hallelujah? Because see, the Bible lets us know that when, when a sinner man comes to the Lord, the Bible says that the angels in heaven rejoice. So what about you here on earth, saints? So what I'm trying to get us to say is that you are never alone. And if you look to your right and you look to your left, because somebody is watching this that said, but I just don't seem to have nobody. Somebody said, I just, I don't want to turn around, but where is hope? I can't see no hope. But I'm here to tell you today, I declare a decree that you shall live and not die. Hallelujah. I'm here and I declare a decree today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That you're going to rise above this. I declare and I decree today for that person that's kept that burden that if you lift your hands in the name of Jesus and if you just give him glory sometimes you can't say nothing but hallelujah sometimes you can't say nothing but Lord help me but if you see in the spirit realm when you say Lord help me when you say hallelujah you can see angels coming to your rescue you are not alone hallelujah you are never alone in Jesus because he's just a call away somebody said well what about the person that cannot speak well, I'm here to tell you that there's a thing called the heart of man. And sometimes you cannot, you can't even, you can go through so much that you can't even, you know, you can't even talk no more. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm here to minister not to everybody, but to somebody today. Because somebody is carrying something. And I want you to know today that you can cast that care. And I want you to know that you are not alone. Because the word of God says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Oh, God. Here to the table. Hallelujah. The word of God is ready for your soul. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord. Yes, Lord. I hear you. Trust in Him. What with all of your heart? You know, you got to get, okay, you got to get out of your own understanding because a carnal mind cannot understand the things of God. Hallelujah. You, 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 if you don't have the Holy Spirit deep, 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 deep down in your soul, hallelujah, you will say, where is God in these troubled times? Hallelujah. Where is God when all of this is going on? But we must remember that we must have eternity in our view. We must know that God is not a God that he shall lie. Hallelujah. He said he was going to prepare. And when we think about it with the eternity in view, uh, it's not so heavy anymore. Because I see great things coming. Hallelujah. See, when you look around on earth and when you look at the news and stuff, you can't see a better day. Because it seems like things are getting worse by the day. Hallelujah. But if you look at it with that eternal view, hallelujah, you have something to rejoice about in the midst of the trouble. Or you can take a lot of things from me, hallelujah, but you cannot have my joy. It doesn't have a price on it, hallelujah. You cannot have my strength. You cannot have my testimony. Because I declare and decree that just as he said, he should do just what he said. The Bible says that he is not a man that he should lie. Trust in him with your whole heart and live not to your understanding. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Thank you, Jesus. The early church had a blessed hope. Hallelujah. They endured suffering. They were experiencing in the world. Christ had come. Christ, they was looking for expectation of Christ to come. Thank you, Jesus. We are closer to Christ's coming than then Christ, since Christ's resurrection, the devil is alive. Yes. We entered into the final stage of history. It is the stage called the last days. How many of y'all know we're in the last days? Yeah. We're in the last days. We're in the last days, and I know people have said it, but that just means we're closer than we were before. Yeah. The signs of the end times are among us, and we can see it. Hallelujah. We must keep eternity in our view. When we keep eternity in our view, it keeps us from being bitter. Hallelujah. Yes. When we keep eternity in our view, it keeps us from being angry, bothered, and tore up and disturbed by what we see. God called us to love one another. Hallelujah. God created us to love one another. He created us to love him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Eternity in our view. Keeping a view of eternity will deliver us from strongholds of the enemy. 
It will keep us, it will keep our mind in a place. It will let us know that no matter what we are going through, Jesus said that he could have called angels. He didn't have to go through nothing that he went through because his eternity, he knew where he was headed. He knew what was said before him, but yet he felt the sorrow and he felt the pain on the journey. Somebody say, it's a journey. But if you keep eternity in your view, you have to turn to the word. You have to turn to eternity every time. You have to know that Jesus is a keeper of his word. Thank you, Jesus. Believers is to at all times prepare for the future and at all times to be ready for Christ to recover, for Christ's return. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said that he will send angels to encamp around about you. Christ is coming soon. Thank you, Jesus. And God will judge both the righteous and the unrighteous, where God will correct all things and usher in a rule of righteousness. This shall comfort believers and enable them to preserve throughout difficult times, to, per, to persevere throughout difficult times. Ask yourself, are you living with eternity in your view? Thank you, Jesus. Let's encourage each other, saints. Let's be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And 1 Thessalonians 4 and 13 says, But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, Lest she sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. Even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. I'm, I'm very aware today that many hearts are grieving. Many people have lost people. And if you haven't lost anybody in your family, I'm sure you know someone that has gone on that you care about. Amen? But I'm here to let you know, I want to encourage you to keep eternity in your view. To know that Jesus has gone to prepare a place for you and he's coming again. Hallelujah. I have a mother and I long to be with her. But you know what? The Bible says God will bring, God will bring him those who sleep in Jesus. So God is going to, I, I'm, I'm looking for that place. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on that place. I'm ready for that place. Hallelujah. Keep eternity in your view. Now, I want to say this before I sit down. It's because as I was praying, I want us to be encouraged to be a witness. I want us to be encouraged to, to be a witness, saints. We cannot just go day by day as though this is just the way we live. You know, like the kids used to say, the wheels on the bus go round and round. We can't just go day by day as we don't know who we have hope in. So this is what the Lord has laid on my heart to, I feel to let you all know is to go back and get your children. Hallelujah. To go back and get your friends. Hallelujah. To prepare, to prepare them and to share your testimony with them. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for Brother Music wife being with us today. And I want you to know that I have been praying for you. I don't, I don't know you personally. I have seen you. But I want you to know that I've been praying for you. And when I saw you today, I had great joy. I said, there she is. Hallelujah. And I thank God. It's a blessing to have you here today. And I'm so glad that you came. You're not here by accident. You're right where God wants you yeah. to be. Yeah. So I thank the Lord. And saints, God wants us to pray you one for another. But I want everybody to make a call. Don't you know the Holy Spirit lives in us? And the Bible said he will lead and guide us to all truth. Into all truth, right? So let the Lord lead you. There's a time and a season for all things. And sometimes there's a, there's a certain moment to make a call that can make the difference in life or death. I hear somebody saying, been there, done that, I done witnessed, and I done told them, don't get smart with God because I'm just a messenger. Amen? Yes, yes. Go again. You can miss things by not going again. Listen to the word of the Lord. It's time to share. God is good. Let's keep eternity in view. But let's not desire to go by ourselves. Let's get ready to go home, saints. Let's prepare ourselves. Jesus is good, and he's coming back again. Thank you, Jesus. There's a song that the saints used to say, used to sing, how, what do you want the Lord to say? Well done, 
Thy good and faithful servant. That's what I want the Lord to say. What do you want the Lord to say? What do you want the Lord to say? Thank you. 